The Mushoku Tensei franchise has received quite a lot of love after the light novel and manga releases. In the last few years, not only did we see the release of a smartphone mobile game, but now we're also going to be seeing the release of an actual console game with Mukushu Tensei Jabba's Reincarnation Quest of Memories. And today I want to introduce you guys to not just what we're going to be expecting to see, in this fan favorite uh, manga and anime game made finally into consoles, but also what kind of new ideas we can expect out of a traditional dungeon crawling experience. I'm gonna be leaving a link in the description below for their official YouTube channel and blog page where they've provided us with not just brand new details regarding their latest game, but also of course, uh, the brand new trailer showcasing Quest of Memories in full display. So for those who may not necessarily know, this uh, anime and manga have been around for a couple of years. I believe they're up to three seasons now in the anime, which has been relatively popular. There have been some criticisms made regarding the context of some of the story aspects of it, but certainly it has been rather well animated. The anime has been really, really well um, done as of recently, and a new season, I believe, is going to be airing starting in April later this year. But today we ended up getting a confirmation that Mukushu Tensei Jobless Reincarnation Quest of Memories is going to be making its way not just to the PC via Steam, but also PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and the Nintendo Switch. Now, like I mentioned at the top of the video, they had released a mobile game before uh, previously, and uh, I'll seriously even try, even if it was made into a game for mobile and iOS devices, and that was very quickly discontinued. I believe that was a traditional gacha mobile game, but what we're looking at here is a traditional dungeon crawler. A lot of um, Atrian, Etrian Odyssey's kind of typical ideas with most likely, at the very least, removed, removing the option for you to be able to do your very own map and cartoon photography options, which is actually a good thing. I, I don't necessarily think the option to be able to create your own map really does all that much for these dungeon crawling experiences. Now, sadly, the blog update details that they provided for the game are relatively sparse, but thankfully the trailers that they provided would give us a little bit more substance. Uh, in their blog update, they mentioned that you'll be reliving the classic story of the TV anime uh, Mukushu Tensei Jobless Reincarnation and also enjoy new scenarios original to the game. Now let's make one thing very clear. Uh, up until uh, basically what they showcase here is everything that's part of originally of season one. They don't showcase anything starting with season two or halfway through where we are right now currently in the anime. Now the manga has clearly and, and the visual novel as well um, have been um, you know way past what the anime has seen. Obviously that's the source material. Uh, so they've done um, way deeper. I don't want to get into spoilers uh, just yet on some of the characters that you might be able to see and also the time skips that tend to happen uh, with this show. Uh, but of course, um, the manga has gone uh, way further than we have seen in the anime. And at the very least, from what we can tell um, in the trailer so far and what their blog update states, chances are you're just going to see most of what's already there in season one. I believe that's like the 24 episodes or so, 26 episodes, somewhere around that range. They also mentioned that be ready to div, um, dive deeper into adventures with Rudius, Eris, and Reageard. I, I believe that's how it's pronounced. I don't remember actually how they I named it in English. I actually saw the original Japanese with subs, um, original anime version. Uh, they would lastly mentioned that in addition, uh, an unprecedented story of Roxy and her fellows uh, will be unveiled as the adventures of Roxy, Elen Elenelise, and Talhand uh, searching for Rudius will be included in the game. Um, now, if they do mention that that is technically part of the second season after a specific event takes place in the game world and they eventually begin to look for Rudius. So most likely that is at the very least the starting of season two. But anything that has to do uh, most likely with uh, a certain um, uh, I don't know. I don't really want to get into spoilers here, uh, but a certain other reunion happening with a certain um, um, childhood friend, perhaps, uh, probably won't necessarily be showcased here in this game. Now, as far as the gameplay is concerned, it does look like a traditional visual novel type game where you're just 
basically go into a specific location and dungeon crawling. Obviously, there seems to be uh, raised friends, friendship meters type things. Get special cutscenes with the characters type of gameplay that you should typically expect in these type of um, anime uh, games brought over a console. Um, and you also get to see plenty of dungeon crawling. Now, the thing here about the dungeon crawling that you do get to see, and these are some of the criticisms that I actually saw in the subreddits was more focused on the criticisms regarding the combat and the way that the combat actually looks. Uh, the monsters are 3D rendered and things of that nature. They don't necessarily uh, look all that vividly. If they were maybe hand-drawn or something along those lines, they'll look better. But they are 3D uh, rendered monsters. Obviously, you don't get to see your characters. Uh, you just have the little icons appearing. And I have seen some people criticize like just the combat potentially could look in not necessarily stand out or something along those lines uh, but that's kind of a given um yeah, ultimately you're going to be playing this probably for the characters and the st story itself so it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if the combat gets maybe pushed a little bit to the side it becomes a little bit less grindy as you can kind of learn to abuse it and make your way forward Obviously, though, there are also touting here um, that there are um, going to be a couple of stories regarding Roxy and her fellow adventurers as they are looking for Rudia. So most likely a couple of story plots uh, will be added there that we didn't necessarily see. Also, in some of the cutscenes that they showcase, there are plenty of like side characters that you did get to see in the original anime kind of make their way into the cutscenes here. So it wouldn't necessarily surprise me here if any of these like side characters that you just kind of uh, met once in a while, maybe they could become like side characters, part of your party or something along those lines. Um, it would be interesting to see if they actually delve in deeper um, to see what kind of stories ultimately they have. The reason why I find games like this ultimately standing out uh, is because I enjoy the anime quite a bit. And kind of like Konosuba, we have seen a lot of these anime games um, make their way onto the Nintendo Switch, but sadly, they never make their way into the West. I believe the very first uh, Konosuba game that we're getting here in the West is a fashion um, making dress one type of a thing even though there's already two dungeon crawler konosuba games already out in the market out in japan for the nintendo switch and those have not been localized they, they look very similar to this one and i'm kind of hoping that um here the publishers realize uh that they should probably be working on an english version of this game and release it now thankfully on their page um, Bushy Road, um, the publishers are already mentioning that there will be an English worldwide release. Uh, so hopefully we won't have to wait for long. As of right now, though, we just have confirmation that the game uh, will be making its way into uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, and PC Steam in 2024. They don't necessarily mention uh, anything else other than summer. Uh, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see what they're able to pull off with this game but that's about all the information that i have for you guys today regarding mukoshu tensei jobless reincarnation quest of memories releasing onto the nintendo switch playstation 4 playstation 5 and pc steam later this summer if you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching see ya